Hey, so what's up, guys? It's your boy, motherfucking hacker Andrew here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to change the wallpaper that comes along with the PlayStation Network chat room. Um, now, this chat room wallpaper does get pretty boring. It's a three dimensional cube type of deal um, with a little bit of distance added to it, so it makes you feel like you're in a room. Uh, but it gets kind of gay and boring now. For a lot of people out there that know Photoshop or GIMP and they like to photo edit, this is pretty cool. So, uh, stick to this video and you're going to like it. Um, so if you know how to edit Photoshop like my boy Durder, then you're going to be uh, having pretty much fun if you have a PS3. So um, now before we change this background, you must know that the file size has to be 115 KBs and under. Um, once again, that is 115 KBs, not MBs, KBs. Um, and it has to be under that file size um, or else this will not work and it will not load. Um, so let's get to it. Now I will provide a link with a bunch of files that will contain two folders. Now these two folders will contain a backup of the actual image, which is the background, uh, which looks like that. And it's named abc underscore background dot jpg. Now that's the background for people that can uh, back up their own. Um, you have it there. Now the other folder will contain the def line, which is what you're needed, um, what is needed to overwrite some files on the flash now since we cannot access the flash directly because we'll get a permissions error when we're trying to overwrite or add files um, we're going to be doing a sidestep using the def blind so go ahead and copy the def blind geohot since that's the one that's working with the wu-tang gerza if you're one of my subscribers um, everybody else that if you have like kamiya or any other firmware other than the geohot or the wu-tang gerza which has the geohot uh, firmware stacked on top of it then just use these um, so go ahead and mount that over and then plug in your flash drive to your PS3. Um, once that's there, you're ready to go. Go ahead and press uh, circle and go over to the game aisle. Go to install package files. <clears throat> then go ahead and install the def blind. Go ahead and press X. It's going to go ahead and install. And there it is. Once it's installed, go ahead and launch the def blind. Just like that. Once that loads... Uh, it'll give you a def blind mounter created by JJ Olano. Press circle. And then if you have the same screen as me right now, and it says def blind is already mounted, unmount, just press no. And if you don't have this screen, hit yes to mount it. Um, once that's done, it should kick you back out to the XMB, and then we can proceed to the files. So go ahead and wait for that to load, and then scroll down to your FTP uh, server. You should automatically have this. Um, there's no need for me to give you this. I've done a couple of tutorials with this already, so you should have this installed. So go ahead and open up Blackbox. I'm going to put my controller down real quick. And then write down your IP address. Um, and then open up FileZilla. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Open up a new search real quick. With FileZilla. There it is, opening up. We're going to go ahead and put on our IP address, 192.168.1.254, press enter, and then we're going to proceed with step one. Step number one is going. we're going to go ahead and come into our PS3 itself, and we're going to go into the search bar, dev underscore blind, um, press enter. Once we're in that directory, we're going to go ahead and come down here to VSH, double click on that, then double click on resource, and then AVC, image, and then here we should find the abc underscore background.jpg. You're going to go ahead and right click on that and download. If you cannot download that, don't worry about it. Um, just uh, that comes along with the files that I have provided, which look like that. Just go into the backup folder and there it is. Just go ahead and right click on it and then uh, paste it on your desktop so you can edit it. Um, so go ahead and move over your FileZilla and open up your Photoshop or whatever uh, Adobe. Photoshop or GIMP. Now I'm going to be using GIMP for this. Just go ahead and click on File, Open. We're going to go into Desktop. We're going to go into the Desktop folder. Uh, we're going to be going into the... Where is it? ABC Background. So there it is. Go ahead and open that. Um, and when you open it, don't mess with the file size. Keep the file size the same. Um, here is a pre-made one that I already made, but basically what you're going to do is go to the Erase tool and then open up the scale and delete everything, everything, everything. I know it's lagging right now because I've got like three or four programs. i got my video recorder, all that. 
Just go ahead and delete all that and then uh, mess with it, do your Photoshop and keep it under 115 KBs um, if possible. If not, then you're going to have a problem. It's going to freeze up. But anyway, this is what the after, um, after file looks like compared to the original one. We're going to go ahead and bring that up right now. Just bear with me for a second. Back up. There it is. There is the comparison, that one compared to that. Now that one's going to be in my background. So go ahead and the way you find out the size, once again, is by right clicking on the image. If you're on a Mac, click on Get Info. Um, and it's 70 KBs. We're fine. We're under the 115. Um, and if you're on a Windows, you're going to right click on the image, go to Properties, and then uh, mess around with the Properties uh, tabs and look for the uh, Info section. Once that loads, go ahead and open up your FileZilla and you're going to drag and drop your AVC background. Just drag and drop it in there. Um, there it is, and it's going to ask you to overwrite. Click OK, don't worry about that. Um, and then go ahead and close your FileZilla. Open up your PS3 again. Go ahead and press X, get out of the black box. And you want to go ahead and just be patient with this, just bear with it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and wait for this to load, and then go over to the right hand side, the friends category. Go ahead and open up a new chat room. Go to voice and video chat, press X, and you should see your awesome wallpaper. Um, now, once again, this does not fuck around with your PlayStation Network, it doesn't come up under hacks for Sony. Um, it doesn't lag, it doesn't cause any type of errors or anything, so don't worry about it. Um, just another step to customize your PS3 to your liking. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Um, big shout out to my boy Brian Colon02, my boy the Hacker Matthew, uh, my boy fucking Bullet50, and a lot of other cool people out there, <clears throat> which I forgot to mention. But I hope you guys like this video. Go ahead and go and do your video chats. Uh, and if for some reason you ever want to switch back, you guys can download the file, which contains the backup of the original background. So hope you guys like that. Um, hit me up. Yep, it is what it is, guys. Peace.